got a little bit of tea going on in the VTubing community. If you guys want to go and, you know, take a gander, start listening. Puck rock. Pause. So I was scrolling through Twitter, you know, going deep into the trenches. I was doing absolutely nothing. Just your average Sunday. And then you just start seeing a bunch of clips pop up on the internet. There was an event that was a VTubing event that a lot of people showed up for, for this specific VTuber by the clip that I'm going to show to you in like two seconds. Just give me a second, okay? Just to kind of set the scene, set the tone. So this event, we have a whole audience of people coming for this one dude, you know? And you would think that the way how everyone's energy is, is that, you know, you have things set up. You know, because I've been looking at some anime expo clips, which I'm going to put some so you guys can see it. They really stepped the game up when it comes to virtual VTubing concerts. Like, when it comes down to it, it's literally insane how IRL, you can have VTubers dancing and doing some crazy little Nas dance moves. It's insane. Clearly, they must have cut the budget for my boy. Because the way how it came, it came into perspective, let me roll this clip. The, the, the weirdness about this, right, it, it isn't that he was, like, not vocally amazing. It's just literally how, you guys know the click and drag concept? So, it literally felt like this man was in OBS, grabbing, clicking, and dragging this character, and then the, the yo, here's the kicker. The crowd went absolutely ballistic on when the man showed his eyes. <laughs> He's like one of those hentai protagonists where the minute that they show their face, everything changes. He's the main character. Everyone messes with him. They're not just messing with his 10-inch cock. Let me stop. Based off of the clip that you guys just saw, there was a VTubing concert where he was basically showcasing his musical talents to the audience, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? Essentially, when you're watching, the, you're going, you're, I love how there's a support system with your favorite character. You're going there because of the person, you know? And hey, I don't know if they had to spend a lot of dough to get into the door, but I'm going to tell you right now, if you did, try to see if you could get a refund, respectfully. To, to give you the best concept, if I had to go and put a character to a character, there's a show called Panty and Stocking. And now, I'm not talking about Panty or Stocking, but we're going to talk about the character brief. You know, and the thing is that people don't know that he's low-key a king. Because, you know, the whole concept of kind of covering, having haircuts where it covers your eyes, there's usually, like, this big conception that you're just ugly. You know, and I'm going to be honest. I had my emo stages back in school, and you might, Caleb, you can't do it with your hair type. You don't know what I could do it with a flat iron. Anyways, we got Brief. Brief is, he, he's usually not much to look at. But there was one episode where the man came on some different energy. And you know what changed it? When he revealed his eyes. Had to slip back hair. He looked like a K-pop star. If I had to go and put ethics behind this, you kind of have the same principle with this guy. And you know, I have no problem with it. At the end of the day, hey man, if you want to look like a head type protagonist, do what you got to do. Make your freaking money. Don't do that. But <laughs> the thing that's like insane to me is how everyone in the crowd was dirt silent. I've heard many little like, like, yay. In the background, just a little bit. But then the minute you saw his eyes, like, Everything changed. Everybody was going ballistic. They were going crazy. They were acting like Justin Bieber came back with his Never Say Never tour. And you know what's crazy? That's not even the funny part. It's like, yeah, it was cool. Everyone freaked out. Everyone wanted his signature. But then the crazy thing is, is the minute he started to dance. <laughs> He, he 
was literally doing the equivalent of grabbing your mouse, clicking, and moving the screen. <laughs> See? All over the screen. And you know what's funny? Everyone started memeing about it. As the internet does things, you know, we start joking. We start clowning. We're not directly clowning his ability to be on stage or his presence or his voiceover. I think it all sounded beautiful. But then you got to say it was definitely funny. So there's a trend that has been evolved that's all over TikTok, where basically everybody is doing the dance. Now, if I had to put a name to the dances, I don't know the name of the trend. I just saw the clip. We call it the X and Y, and I'm not talking Pokemon. So, so this is how it goes. You just... You just move. You're moving straight. You move back. You move up. But you don't change your perspective. <laughs> By far one of the funniest things that has touched the internet, right? And now here is some direct problems with this trend. Or wait, specific people hopping on the trend that everyone thought that was funny. It's all good, clean fun. We're not destroying anybody. We're not attacking character. Maybe a little bit. We got, we go into Denji. He saw the trend. He saw how much hype and publicity it was. And at the same time, it was funny. It was funny. And the man just simply did, did a little joke. I think it was on street. I think it was on, he, so he made a little joke on stream about it, right? <laughs> and I swear to God, I swear, everyone went crazy. They're like, Denji, you suck. Denji, what the heck? You should, you're attacking his character. This is inappropriate. And you know what people immediately started doing with all that was going on? They automatically went to the slurs. What do you, Kate, what do you mean by slurs? What's going on? You cannot be for real. <laughs> <laughs> they started throwing the ad words like they're throwing out passes all over the place, all over the internet, attacking him like a white man going to the hood with a, a box of chicken saying, come and grab some. Like, they went nuts. Now, a lot of people might say, hey, is it really that bad what Denji did? Clearly the internet says that he did some really bad stuff. But at the end of the day, man was just memeing. Everyone made the joke. What made it different that Denji did the joke? I don't know. And I, and I made this video to say this. At the end of the day, it was all good, clean fun. The people at the show had a good time. The people on the internet had a good time. Everyone was just having a good time. And honestly, I don't even know the name of the VTuber, but at the end of the day, the man's getting more fame by the day. He, he started a trend. One person from a position of color, POC. Position? Pose? Pe people of color. I needed a second. So, yeah, I just want to shed light on this, man. You know, Denji was strolling, he was just having fun, and then everyone was just going ballistically crazy. I don't think that it, it warranted the reception it got on the internet. Some people were triggered. Some people were butthurt. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't see where you would get triggered about that. But that's, cur that's the current situation. Guys, if you guys see this, go show Denji some love, bro. At the end of the day, he didn't do anything. He did what everyone else did, is that he hopped on a trend that was funny. So much VTubing content, which is actually not funny. But that was the funniest thing I've seen in a, in a long time. Got some clips from Anime Expo also. So, you know, if you guys want me to do a video on Anime Expo and all the stuff that went down on that, write down in the comments section down below. Definitely, I think that that situation is definitely funny. I don't think it warrants Denji having all of that hate. I think people got to stop sipping that hate away. Little, little hate. Shouldn't be sipping on it. Amazing trends and uh, people just throwing words. Yeah, nah, not really great. But at the end of the day, guys, please go show Denji some love. Everyone go send their love to my boy. Because he was just trying to hop on something funny. Everyone can say it was funny. But that's all I have to say on that situation. Denji, 
the, the VTubing community, everything, showing eyes. Yo, there's so much stuff. Smack the like button. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.